Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the MagicCon 30 Las Vegas sign card recap. Um, we did a similar one of these at MagicCon Minneapolis and it was pretty awesome. So this is what we all picked up on day one at MagicCon Las Vegas. This is the play mat that you get with the badge. It's pretty nice. It also comes with deck box with some sleeves, six packs of Wilds of Eldraine draft boosters, a mystery draft booster. We also got a special pin that came with it. Uh, Lotus petal etched foil promo card, pretty sweet. There were two more foil cards that we also sold at the convention. Then we were looking for a Mark Poole Birds of Paradise play mat and we did not find one. So we opted for this metal engraved card as well. And while we were there, we got Birds of Paradise signed, more Birds of Paradise signed. We got some Dominaria Remastered Islands signed, this Jack of Clubs card, some Alphas, Alphas that were incorrectly credited to Dan Frazier that were then fixed in beta, also reprinted in revised. We picked up a ton of revised cards from Mark for our revised signed set. Uh, even the Shatterstorm that was incorrectly credited to Mark Poole that was never fixed. It's been Dan Frazier's card the whole time. Then we also got all of our Soul Rings signed in gold that we finally acquired from Commander Masters. Those look pretty sweet in gold. Then we went back to Mark's booth when we saw Jeff Ferrer was there helping out. We had him sign these Brainstorm Secret Layer cards that were previously signed by Mark at GP Minnesota. Then the regular versions, those look pretty sweet too. So the playmat we did pick up was the Mark Tadeen Time Twister playmat. We're gonna play that tomorrow at the Alpha 40 Championship. And then while we were there, we got Mark to sign some Alpha cards for the Alpha 60 project, uh, some Antiquities cards, Revised cards, Beta COP Reds, signed in red and black, Chaos Confetti, signed in silver and black. So that's round one. We also picked up a channel, non-signed. This is the only maybe non-signed card we picked up today. This might be for the Alpha 40 deck. If you can't beat them, join them. We've been losing to Channel Fireball a lot this month. Over here, we've got Brian Wackwitz signed a play set of four spikes for us. And then some Fallen Empires cards. Homerid, Order of Leaper, he really liked that one. Brushland Belt from Ice Age. The Shatter from Ice Age, he did not like the Tin Man, so he used it as the subject for the Shatter alliances. Then we saw Jeff Mircola. He did a treasure token for us and this Jack of Clubs. I think that is uh, Knight of Valor is the card. He also signed Personal Tutor in orange, three frantic searches in blue, and a Sulfurous Blast foil in red. And then over here, we're not done yet. Anson Maddox was the top signer of the day. We got maybe like t eight of our Alpha cards signed by Anson for our Alpha collection. We got some playset of Resurrections from Antiquities that's missing the expansion symbol. Got some foreign vampire bats, a ton of revised cards for the revised signed set project, all signed by Anson, Orcish Artillery, Playgrats down here, Sanger Vampire, a playset of Darelors, and a playset of Gold Border Lanor Elves just because we had them laying around. And some Denizens of the Deep, it's one of the newer cards he did for Dominaria Remastered. There's also the Retro Frame version and the regular version, that's a rare card. Coming over here. We've got Douglas Schuler signed a bunch of alphas for us as well to, to go into the alpha collection. Animate Artifact, COP White, Drain Life, Frozen Shade, Weakness, Tranquility, and some Mountains for the Alpha 60 deck. Um, he also had a poker card. He had Sarah Angel, Queen of Spades, and then some revised cards for a revised collection. Force of Nature, Playset of Hypnotic Specters, 
power surge Timmy and a volcanic eruption. Then RK Post signed a number of the borderless counter spells for us in gold. He also numbered these because I think this was one of the most popular cards he'd been signing at the convention. So this says number 177, 178, 179, 180, 181, and then we also got a cat token. This Yoda looking cat is pretty sweet. Then we went to Margaret Organ Keen. She signed another Martyrs of Corliss for us from Antiquities. Um, two Autumn Willows. She said that um, Kaya Foglio was the subject for this artwork. And then there was Jorvan Traders that we opened up from Homelands and another copy of Amulet of Krug, all signed by Margaret. And then to our surprise, we were able to catch John Avon in his line. He signed a Lotus Veil for us and four copies of Lotus Field in gold. He had a limit of five cards per signing, but you could jump back in the end of line if you had time to get more cards signed. And then to continue, to continue the Lotus theme, Randy Gallagher signed a playset of Lotus Blossoms for us right there in black. Black Lotus, get it? And then Richard Kane Ferguson signed some Fallen Empires Medallion Soldiers, Boomerang from Mirage, Misinformation from Alliances, and the coolest card, the Decon Black Blade. The, this was an Italian Legends. So I couldn't read the, the text box anyway, and I had Richard Kane Ferguson sign his tall signature in there. I think it looks absolutely sweet. And it's gonna match our the kind of black blade that he signed from GP Minneapolis. And then last but not least, Ken Mayer Jr. knocked it out of the park with uh, some dark rituals from Tempest. So we have a few of these, a few more, a few more, and then a playset of Kurt Apes. And then my favorite card of the convention that I picked up is this Basil Thrall that I asked Ken Mayer Jr. to uh, alter the Guardian Beast background in the back of the Basil Thrall from Fallen Empires. And he was happy to do it, and it turned out absolutely stunning. Guardian Beast is one of my favorite cards. This looks just immaculate. I highly recommend Ken and all of his talents. So in total, that was 160 plus cards, I think, that got signed today. Very efficient day for me, very happy with all the, the, the signatures, and it was great to see all the artists again. I thank everybody for watching this channel. Subscribe to see more content like this from Las Vegas tomorrow. And give this video a like if you liked any of the cards that you saw, or a comment below if any of those were your favorite. I appreciate you for watching. Bye, everyone.